Good evening. It's 10 o'clock at night. And it's 6, 6 1, June 1st. And tonight, clip's gonna be about stretching. A lot of people don't stretch. Everybody talk about working out. How much you lift in these different exercises that you do that's so fantastic but not many people talk about stretching so I'm gonna do a little stretching my evening stretching I do this in the morning I do this at night before I go to bed and I do it uh, in the middle of the day just to keep me flexible keep me agile keep me limbo so to speak so whether I'm working out or just doing anything, lifting something. I won't, I won't, I won't injure myself or hurt myself. You know, because sometimes all that weight it tightens you up. So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna show you what I do, and hopefully that you can uh, incorporate what I do in your life and loosen you up. I'm gonna start with the uh, chest. One of the stretches I do as well. Here we go. I wonder if I can see it pretty good. Take it from this angle. I may count to 10, 12, being this an instructional video, showing you before how, how it is. You know. Okay. Then I do this type of stretch here. This feels good. This feels good. And, and you guys should try this. You should try this. Ah, and after this. Ah. Now they say the further you go down, it kind of dictate how how young you are. If you can touch the floor, your whole hand, that's a big deal. I'm not quite there, but I'm, I'm, I'm close enough. It's all about the stretch though. That's what we want to do. Keep yourself loose. Okay. Whew. And this, this, this stretch here, kind of bend your knees a little bit. And just kind of, this, this is a yoga move, but this helps your lower back. The hamstring just a little bit. Hope you guys can be able to see it all. And these are stretches I do at night. And definitely in the morning. I don't do it too long, just kind of loosen your body up. Okay, and you guys do the same thing. It's another one I do. This is definitely for the hip flexion. I hope you guys can see it. I kind of, preferably a little higher chair, kind of lean forward. I remember I had some hip flexion pain a while ago. And uh, since I've been doing these, it's been beautiful. You ain't got to kill yourself, but just go as far as you can. You got to stay too long. Do a kitchen chair, chair in the kitchen, a little office chair. This is kind of low for me right now, but I'm just showing you what I do as far as stretching is concerned. Nobody really talks about this. And we, we, we tend to have injuries based on because we're not flexible, we're too tight. So if you're too tight and then you do something, it can snap ligaments. You don't want to do that because now you're injured. 
this is kind of low. But I'm sure you got the idea. And then I'll do this. Not a long, long session. Very short, short session. Nothing real heavy. Keep yourself, new, you know, limbo. And as you get older, you definitely want to do this. There's another one here. They call it the baby squat. I don't know if I can see me. But kind of get on your heels and just kind of stretch your knees, your butt up, your buttocks area. Kind of want to lean on your heels a little bit. But this takes time because... People don't realize how tight they really are. And that's it. That's it, so check it out. Just stand true of action. It's day three. I feel like I'm in motion. Peace.